Hey, my friends, this is Tracy Kirkley with Cry Like Realtors. And so I had something come up today and thought I would just chat for, for a minute with you about quit claim deeds. And that's quit, Q-U-I-T, quit claim deeds. And why somebody might need to use one of those with regard to their real estate. So sometimes we've got folks who are purchasing a house. Maybe we have a married couple that are purchasing a house and for whatever reason, maybe uh, somebody's credit isn't as good. One of the partner's credit isn't as good. And so therefore they're not on the loan. It's beneficial for them not to be on the mortgage. In that case, the lender might not also want them to be on the contract or on the title to the property. So in that case, then it's just in one of the spouse's name. All right, and so you close on the property, and so the house is then deeded just into the one spouse's name. Now, that might not be how that married couple really wants it. What happens if, say, the spouse passes away, that house now is not automatically going to go to the other spouse, especially if there are some grown children involved, different things like that. So what they could do after they close on the sale of the house, they could go ahead and do a quit claim deed, in which case the spouse who is on title could quit claim over their interest to both themselves and the other spouse. So Bob could quit claim it over to Bob and Alice, or Alice could quit claim it over to Alice and Bob. Okay, so I hope that helps, and I have a lot of clients that that is the case, all right? Now, another instance is that maybe you want somebody removed from the title, okay? And they can go ahead and do a quit claim and quit claim over their interest to just the other party. Now, if they're on the mortgage, that does not relieve them of their mortgage obligation, however. Another situation in which a quit claim deed is used is if you change how your name is. So let's say that you were married um, or your name was, you know, Jane Smith when you purchased the property and now it's Jane Doe and you, for whatever reason, your name changed, okay? And now you want to have the property titled into your new name. So you would do a quit claim deed from Jane Smith to Jane Doe, okay? And so that just allows the title to be titled properly into your current uh, legal name. So those are just a few reasons that you might use a quit claim deed. Now, I am not an attorney. I do need to give you that disclaimer. But in the real estate business, we do come across this quite a bit, and I thought that that might be helpful. Now, in the state of Mississippi, you could go down to the courthouse um, and get some documents. However, they are likely going to suggest, from what I understand, that you go ahead and get with a real estate attorney or a closing attorney for them to go ahead and execute the quit claim deed for you. Um, most attorneys are going to charge you, I'm going to say, about $100 plus recording fees to do that. Recording fees are going to run probably in the $30 to $45 range. Now, if you're, for instance, with the closing attorney that, uh, that I use most of the time, Guardian Title, I know that if you're going to need to do a quick claim deed, say, uh, shortly thereafter purchasing a property, they'll actually go ahead and do that for you Um at no charge and just charge you the uh, the recording fees that they're that they're charged from the county but uh, either way it doesn't cost a whole lot now I do believe in Tennessee that you could uh, do this on your own and it's and it's fairly simple up there um, so you could just check with uh, you know with with the county that that you're in all right hope that's helpful if you've got additional questions or want to know um, who to contact on this you know if you need a, a good closing attorney or a real estate attorney to do this for you hey just give me a shout it's uh, Tracy Kirkley at cry like 901-210-8045 hope that you have a great day